Hi guys, this is going to be a daily reading for today, Wednesday, September 12th. It was a very interesting past couple of days, right? I just wanted to let you guys know that my uh, personal Instagram that was hacked and deleted is back up and running. So for those of you that want to follow me, Instagram, it's xi underscore missy underscore xi. I don't know how it happened. I was waiting for Instagram to get back in touch with me. They did not. I was doing some prayers yesterday, surrendering to the universe, doing some, you know, Ong Namos and some, you know, really old ancient Sanskrits. And then, you know, a couple hours later, magically, I logged in. Something told me to log in and I did. And voila, it just magically oh, appeared. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing ever. Anyways, you guys, this is a disclaimer that I swear in all of my readings. And if swearing does offend you, please click the fuck off now. I also have another announcement that my I Am Love candles is finally back in stock. It's been a minute because Kyoki was in Japan and he's finally back and he just put some up on his um, etsy shop if you want to order click on the box below and there's a link order your shit now because he is going to be coming out with my second candle very soon which means i don't know you know how long the i am love candles will be in stock or if they will be replenished after they run out just because you know we may start concentrating on my new candle so please go ahead and stock up on this candle okay you guys don't wait until it's sold out and then email and dm saying i want to order it now take advantage of it now okay now here we go sorry my eye is itchy Ugh. okay do you guys know i have severe allergies so i'm always rubbing my goddamn nose and then also when i channel for some reason my nose gets extra itchy hunty okay i'm sorry i have to chug down coffee while i'm doing this coffee as i said yesterday when i come to new york in a couple of months everybody's like you're gonna come and have coffee with me i'm like hell yeah i'm gonna have coffee with you okay I'm really bad at imitations, but apparently I can see coffee like a champ. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. This is Wednesday, September 13th. Sorry, guys, I had a phone call come in and it stopped the recording. So again, this is a reminder. This is for Wednesday, today, September 12th. Reminder that time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. So it is going to resonate when it resonates. Two of Wands, being at a crossroads, needing to choose a path, Ten of Pentacles, wow, the path to abundance, stability, commitment to, someone here has a choice to be committed, oh, Seven of Swords, oh, be very careful, deception, someone trying to get away with something. Page of Cups, an offer. Someone trying to offer something, but very deceptive. Seven of Swords is mm, deception. Oh, look at that. Eight of Wands and the Page. Excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles is the card, right? This is the card about blessings, abundance. Um, Some of you could be moving. Some of you could have gotten a new job. That's what this card would symbolize, this blessings coming in. This with the Ten of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful. So, you know, we are starting to see the harvest come in now, right? Eight of Wands, communication is going to start coming in. We keep getting the Eight of Wands over and over and over. It doesn't only mean communication. It also means an energy shift, movement, because it is about fast movement. So that's why we say it's either travel, it can be communication. It's communication, though. But I would be very weary for some of you guys. See, this is the problem, right? And this is always the case. Some of you are going to have offers come in that will be this energy. And you're going to have to use discernment. And you're going to have to be able to trust your gut and not just be desperate. Because someone came back in offering something that everything you learned goes out the window. Because this is going to be the energy for some of you. And you're going to bite. You're going to get fucking burned again. And then all of this stuff gets delayed, okay? Because just because someone comes back saying that, you know, now they're ready doesn't mean that they're not carrying this type of an energy, okay? You have to be able to use discernment. You have to. I mean, at this, at this point in the game, mm, 
if you can't sniff it out by now that's not good and that is exactly why saturn was you know testing a lot of us this is the final lap around the racetrack seriously so tests have been coming up continuously for people so here we have the chariot and the six of cups so for some of you guys it could be a cancerian that came back from the past okay for some of you this is just someone from the past that's going to be coming in and wanting to move forward what because the chariot's about forward progress and movement but you have this card in the spread you have to proceed with caution okay just because again someone comes back from the past it does not necessarily mean that they are going to be giving this stability commitment it can be this wishy-washiness right two of pentacles is not knowing not not sure seven of swords there mm. be very careful you know you don't want to go and get sucked into a karmic cycle for another couple of years look at that this came in like this in reverse and the deck is not upside down five of cups in reverse five of cups upright is someone in regret sadness only focused on the cups that have toppled over in reverse like this would mean the opposite someone's coming out of depression and sadness here someone's definitely coming out of it someone's definitely seeing something for what it is see in this card the person doesn't notice the two cups here now someone's noticing it they're noticing it so what's going to happen now right two of cups that came in in reverse but they're telling me no they're saying nope put it upright no actually they're not I apologize you guys i'm over here doing my own thing and <laughs> channeling and they're going um excuse me put it back the way we it came out and i'm going oh okay um so the two of cups in reverse is not a good sign the two of cups in reverse tells us that this is something that's not going to pan out okay like this mm -mm. nope I, I flipped it over and i was like okay hey, no it's not going to be that way because i didn't hear anything at first and then finally I heard, excuse us, put it back the other way. This is, that's no. So again, for those of you that have someone coming back from the past, because this is going to be a very common theme happening. So it's a perfect time that this reading comes out because this is the energy shift, right? For some of you that do, it is not going to be what you're expecting. And it's just to teach you guys that, you know, when someone comes in, you have to be very careful and not just throw caution to the wind. Just because someone comes in doesn't mean you got to go move in with them and now you boyfriend, girlfriend. Someone comes back from the past. What do I always tell you? That you have to use discernment and we have to say, okay, you're, you're back. Well, then you show me that you deserve a chance. Show me that you want me to invest in you. And the way that they show us is by them putting in the effort and only time will tell with consistency because any motherfucker can come in and go and promise you anything you see what i'm saying they can come in and go yeah mm -hmm, i promise i'm gonna do this i promise i'm gonna do that i mean honey at this point in the game you're gonna just listen to anything anybody tell you oh bitch please mm -mm. do you know how many of my clients in just the past week i would say past seven to ten days said someone from their past came back do you know how many because it's a collective's energy right and i t i tell every single one of them be careful because it's very testy energy and you guys see this energy right here better hope and pray that's not one of you because there will be some that come in that is the offer it's the one it's the one you're gonna marry it's everything some of you gonna have somebody coming in like this though okay be careful. All right, I'm going to get a card off of the good tarot deck. You know, people always don't listen to me. And then later when the shit happened, they go, oh, I should have listened. I told you. You know, there is nothing wrong with being patient and taking it slow and being a little guarded as opposed to opening yourself wide up again to get like blasted open and get hurt if something, God forbid, happens. So this is the two of pentacles. We got the two of pentacles again here. This is the two of earth. 
Let me read it from the book, okay? Hold on, guys. So to have it twice, that means the energy is very, very, very strong. This is about trying to find balance, okay? Now, in this book, it says, pleasurable work, adaptability, balance between work and play. My efforts bring me joy. Play and work are not separate because what I am doing is actually fun. If conditions change, I can switch gears easily. I am fully present in the excitement of creativity and am eager to experience the surprises that occur when seeds I have planted take root, sprout, and develop in unexpected ways. This is a time for flexibility and trust in how the universe will shape what is coming into being. One way or another, my dreams manifest in the material world. And, you know, yes, they do, because look at what we have here, right? You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So it is coming. Everything is going to start coming to fruition. But don't forget that, you know, when tests come in and options come in, it's not all going to be fruitful, right? Some things are going to be, remember what I told you guys, you don't need to drink from every cup that is presented to you because that's how the fuck you get poisoned. And we have to be able at this stage of the game to be able to use our own discernment. And if you can't tell by now, by trusting your instincts, it's not a good sign. It's really not a good sign. Anyways, you guys, again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my personal is xi underscore missy underscore xi. Virgos, if you're a Virgo sun sign, your readings are on sale and they're basically half off. So take advantage of that now. Anyone else would like to book a reading with me? Click on the box below. Reminder for those that want to reorder or order my I Am Love candles. They smell absolutely amazing. They're made with gardenia oil. They are to help break through anything that is trapped in the heart chakra, any blockages to help heal whether it's this life or past life it also helps to you know empower you to feel like the kings and queens that you guys are okay so everything that i represent you know everything that i am trying to instill and empower in you guys it's all in this one candle okay so it's absolutely amazing anyways you guys i'll see you guys later love you